Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. It's another wonderful day. Hallelujah! Thank you, God, for today. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O God. Thank you. Thank you, Father, that you love us so, so much with an everlasting love. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O God. Thank you, Father. You love us because you have said, Lord, in your word it says here that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrew 1, 11 verse 1. And thank you, Lord, for your love, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. And we glorify you, O Father. All glory and honor belongs to you. Hallelujah. Father God, we surrender ourselves again into your mighty hands, Father, as we continue on reading your word. Hallelujah. God, give us, Father, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Father, as we continue, Lord, to seek you. Hallelujah. For God, we are nothing without you lord but with you we have everything hallelujah thank you father we bless you lord and we glorify you oh god thank you lord for all your goodness <laughs> hallelujah jesus we 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 in front of you father god you are so so wonderful you are so awesome you so love us so very much. Thank you, God, as we surrender ourselves into your mighty hands again today, Lord. Guide us through in whatever we do, Lord. Be it unto you as a pleasing sacrifice. Our work today, Father, be it, be it a sacrifice of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the strength. God, we magnify you, Lord, and we glorify your Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Amen. Father God, we want to offer our lives into your hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, we offer our life. All that I am, all that I have, I lay them down before you, O oh Lord. All my regrets, all my acclaim, the joy and the pain, I'm making them yours. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting our praise to you. As a pleasing sacrifice, Lord, I offer you my life. Yes, Father. I offer you my life. We offer you our lives. <laughs> Father God, Lord, thank you. We bless the Lord and we glorify you, Father. Things in the past, things yet unseen, wishes and dreams that are yet to come true. All of my hopes, 
all of my plans my heart and my hands i lift it to you lord i offer my life to you everything i've been through yes it for your glory lord i offer my days to you lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice lord i offer you my life hallelujah thank you father yes lord we offer you our lives today father hallelujah thank you god take charge take over in whatever we do today in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah thank you father we will be going to read lord the um your word in the book of uh i think yesterday we read the book of um some some chapter 2 and today we will be reading some chapter 3 father help us oh god to understand and i do not know what you are going to teach us today father but we have an open heart lord to receive it thank you father amen some been chapter 3 confidently trusting god for protection and peace author is david lord how many are my foes how many rise up against me many are saying of me god will not deliver him but You are a shield around me, Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry aloud, and he answer me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I awake again because of the Lord sustains me. Thank you, Father. Yes, also to me, Lord. <laughs> You sustain me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. Far, far from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. Father God, yes, may your blessing be on your people. Hallelujah. You may want to learn more about this passage. It says here in chapter 3, it says 3, 1 and 2 explains here that David felt like he was in in the minority. There may have been as many as 10,000 soldiers around him at this time. Not only did David enemies view life differently, they actively sought to harm him as king. David could have trusted his army to defeat Absalom. Instead, he depended upon God's mercy. Therefore, he was at peace with whatever outcome occurred, occurred to him knowing that God's great purpose would prevail. We can overcome fear by trusting God for His protection in our darkest hour. Yes, thank you, Father, indeed. David was not sitting on his throne in a place of power, but he was running for his life from his re- rebellious son Absalom and a host of traitors. When circumstances go against us, it is tempting to think that God also is against us. But David reminds us that the opposite is true. When everything seems go against us, God is still for us. 
If circumstance has turned against you, don't blame God. Seek Him. Yes, Father. Indeed, Lord. Thank you. The word sila occurs 71 times in Psalms and three times in Habakkuk. Though its precise use is unknown, it was mostly, most likely a musical sign. Three suggestions that, one, it was musical direction to the singers and orchestra to play forty or crescendo. It was a signal to lift up the hands or voice in worship or to the press to give benediction. It was a phrase like Amen, meaning so be it, or Hallelujah, meaning praise the Lord. Oh, <laughs> now, I, now I know what Sila means. Yeah, it could be that. It could be a pause first. Yeah, a pause and, oh, thank you, Lord. I learned something. God, thank you, Father, for your word again in the book of Psalm chapter 3. Oh, hallelujah. We praise the Lord and glorify your Father. There must be something behind. Yeah. Three, four. Three, four. God's holy hill. This one is four. In your anger, do not sin when you are on your bed. Is it this one? No, no, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It is in chapter four. We are only in chapter three. Four is here. Sorry, it's here. Four. To the Lord I cry aloud, and he answers me from his holy hill. And it says here that three, four. God's holy hill was Mount Moriah in Jerusalem, the place where David's son Solomon would build the temple. Second Chronicles chapter 3, verse 1. David knew that God could not be confined to any space, but he wrote poetically, expressing confidence that God would hear him when he prayed. God responds to us when we urgently pray to him. And in 5 it says, I lie down and sleep. I awake again. Because the Lord sustains me. It's five here. Sleep does not come easily during a crisis. It's true, it's true. But could have had sleepless nights when his son Absalom re rebelled and gathered. Uh, okay, sleep does not come easily during crisis. Yeah, but then <laughs> the peace of God reigns in the heart and thank you father that we can be able to sleep i personally be able to because the peace of god in my heart thank you father and anyway it explains here again from sorry because i just trying to say about my own personal experience <laughs> i lie down and sleep and I, I awake because the lord sustains me it is very true to my to myself even if i have so much problem or anything like that but God, it's my peace in my heart. I, 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 I personally, I have to say it by my personal experience that the Lord said, do not let the sun go down with hatred, anger, or pain in my heart. So I really <laughs> lie down uh, with a peaceful heart in my heart. Just because the Lord, it's not about me. It's the Lord sustains sustains me. Okay, anyway, this, I lie down and sleep. I awake again because the Lord sustains me. Now it was in during that in David's time or something like that. Sleep that not does not come easily during a crisis. But um, David could have had sleepless nights when his son Absalom rebelled and gathered an army to kill him, but he slept peacefully even during the rebellion. What made the difference? David cried out to the Lord, and the Lord heard him. The assurance of answered prayer brings peace. Wow. 
Praise God, you have found me, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I didn't even know that this has been the continuation. I mean, when I say it, Father, thank you. It is easier to sleep well when we have full assurance that God is in control of circumstances. If you are lying awake at night, worrying about circumstances, you can change. Pour out your heart to God and thank Him that He is in control. Then sleep will come. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. All right, seven. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. <laughs> I don't think David is. Anyway, it's just there. This description of God's anger reveals David's desire for justice against his persecutors. David himself was slept slept and insulted and here he simply asked for equal treatment equal treatment for his enemies he did this not out of personal revenge yes i can understand that he did this not out of personal revenge but for the sake of god's justice Verse 8 shows the humility behind David's words. He realized that faith in God's timing was the answer to his question about the success the wicked had unfairly achieved. Mm. Father, thank you Lord for your word. Thank you, Father, that indeed blessings will come. <laughs> May blessings be on your people, O oh Father God. Thank you, Lord, that having you, God, <laughs> is already a great blessing. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord, for today. I do believe that... Uh, Every one of us who reads this or who listen or uh, Father God, there might be a revelation in them also that you have shown, shown us today, Father. And so thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Father, for your love. <laughs> thank you, Lord. And we bless you, Father, and we glorify you, O God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, O God. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for today. Thank you for your word. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, his name alone be glorified. Amen.